so I finally have time to sit down and build my MXP 150. Uh, it's summertime, so I've taken a lot of free time to go out and camp and hike and uh, travel and do some things with my girlfriend. But I finally have time to sit down and build this little beast right here. Look how cute it is. Uh, you can see the bigger bigger brother up here, the MXP200 sitting on the wall. Alright, so we're going to cover the parts and then we will get right into the build. So the first part of this build is the Emacs 4000 kV RS1306 motor. Um, I'm going to pair this with 30 MPSCs and quad blades as well as 4S. I'm hoping that is not too much for it and that these motors can handle that, but uh, I guess we'll see. I want this little 150 to be insane, so that is my goal. The next piece in the equation is these Emacs Lightning 30 amp ESCs. Uh, I've never used these before, but uh, Emacs went ahead and sent these on over along with the motors. Um, so I'm super curious to see how these do. Uh, they are nice and small, which is perfect for this build. The next piece is uh, this Amway 200 milliwatt, 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. Uh, nice and small, simple, cheap. Uh, this should fit perfectly on the 150. Uh, I have this cheap little uh, PDB here. Uh, bought a long time ago for a build and then never ended up using it. So I'm gonna use it on this build. And it was like five bucks or something, so we'll see how it ends up. I have a Foxeer uh, HS1177 camera with a 2.1 millimeter lens on it. This will be actually be the first time that I've flown 2.1 millimeters, so I'm curious to see just how uh, having that much field of view is going to be. It'll actually be perfect to get used to flying that. Next up is the Free Sky XSR receiver, nice and compact and light. This will go perfectly on the build. Last but not least, the heart of this little build is the Kiss Fly controller. Now I pulled this off uh, one of my elements because it was giving me some oscillation issues that I could not solve um, or track down for whatever reason. And I am hoping that uh, it was just a fluke in that the board is still fine. If not, I'm going to have to order a, another flight controller for this build, but I'm really hoping this one works because this is the only spare one that I have currently on hand. Alright, that covers the parts, so now let's get right into the build.
Bye.